The final race on day two of the festival is the Kim Muir Challenge Cup. And this one is a three mile one furlong 0 to 140 handicap. And the top one is reality check for Ryan Tamasebi. Special cargo for David Robertson. Bonjour, Paul Rhodes. Winged respect, David Robertson. Bucko, Martin Leadham. Swindy home, James Shane. Presenting present for Graham Clutterbuck. Wadia Smiles, Darren Thompson. George O'Keefe, Paul Rhodes. Sunbeam Talbot, John Morgan. Radier, David Hooley. Annie Walker, Thomas Rogers. And a strategic goodbye for B. Fotheringham. So 13 then. And away they go, quite possibly everybody's third string gold cup horse in this one as they make their way towards the first. So long shorter, of course, and Winged Respect is the leader. As they go past that second big screen and make the long run towards the first fence in this race. And Radia in the purple jacket has come through to take the lead. Wing Respect now back in second. And then George O'Keefe from Presenting Present. As so they get to the first, and Radia over to the lead. From Swindy Home is now moved through into second. Presenting Present in third closest to us. Right over on the rail, Wing Respect, the early leader with Bonjour and the green with the light blue cap. The green and yellow with the white cap is the second of the Paul Rhodes horses, George O'Keefe. They're all safely over the water. And the grey wider smiles is just a back marker. But right here, trying to give David Hooley a quick double, gets to that ditch and takes it nicely in the lead. And there's a faller there, there's two fallers, Annie, Annie Walker and Winged Respect have both gone. And that's two out then as they get to this next plain one. And over that one was a bit of a mistake. I looked like Bucko didn't jump it all that well, and a strategic goodbye may have been the other one that didn't jump it all that well. So we've lost two already then, and Radia is in the lead by about three to four lengths to Sunbeam Talbot in second, and then Swindy Home is third as they get to this ditch, and over that one they all go. With Bonjour and George O'Keefe third and fourth for Paul Rhodes, then Reality Check and Swindy Home, and then Presenting Present closest to us. The first of the greys is Special Cargo, and that time Strategic Goodbye was definitely the one down on its nose at the back. But it's Radia, who's clear by about five. It's presenting Present probably just showing second as they get to the seventh. Which they all get to the other side of with a minimum fuss. And right here in front, presenting present second, and then the Paul Rhodes pair, George O'Keefe and Bonjour. Then reality check for the inform Ryan Tamas heavy yard. Then Sunbeam told by John Morgan look of his first winner of the festival this season. Oh, and he's not going to get it there because it's gone. And so too has Strategic Goodbye. So Sunbeam told, but he's out of it. And John Morgan's not having the best of Cheltenham so far. And that one is on the deck and out of the race. So we've lost four now. And Radia is the leader. Oh, we've still got a circuit to go yet. With Presenting Present second and Reality Check third. George O'Keefe is fourth and Bonjour is fifth. Then Special Cargo and Swindy Home. Wadia smiles and finally Bucco. And they're the only ones left in it as they take number nine, which they all get over this time. And make their way towards the next. And this one is in front of the big screen and will be the last one next time round. And Bucco this time did his best to get rid of the jockey. But it's Radir in the lead. Being able to swing left handed there now. One more circuit to go. Fairly long run to the next, which will then be followed by the water. So it's Radir in the lead by about five lengths. Radir in the lead. A reality check is second and special cargo is third. Presenting present is four and Bonjour is five. And then Georgia O'Keefe is six. Mwadi is Mars is seven. Swindy Home is eight. Bucco is nine. And they're the only ones left as they make their way towards fence number 11. And it's Radia, who is in the lead from the grey special cargo just about second as they get over that plain one. Radia smiles the second of the greys is making a forward move around the outside. And it's still wide open this one as they come down to the water jump with Radia over it in front. From Reality Check and Special Cargo, then Presenting Present Wadia Smiles, then Bonjour, then Swindy Home, Georgia O'Keefe, and finally Bucco, who's no more than 10 lengths off the lead. At this ditch, then a slow jump by the leader this time. Now only leads by a length as Presenting Present goes up into second. 
Wild Ear Smiles is now third. In reality, check at this plane one next. And over that one, they go. A mistake there was by Georgia O'Keefe, and that one's now relegated to last. But Wild Ear is now being challenged by Presenting Present. Then the two greys, Wild Ear Smiles and Special Cargo together. Reality check on their inside. And Bonjour being switched to the outside. Swindy Home and Bucko are going to try and get up them inside as they get over that ditch. And Georgia O'Keefe is now the back marker, but it's Wild Ear in front. Wild Ear is the leader. But only by a head, been in the lead pretty much all the way. Presenting present is second. Over that one they go. Rider right jumped that one well, but presenting present making ground on the outside. Then Wadia Smiles is third. Reality check is four. Then Swindy Homan. Bonjour. Georgia O'Keefe is next. Special cargo's lost its place. Bucko is trying to run on, but it's still Rider right in the lead. Rider right up the 17th. Gets over it in front. Wadia Smiles, a better jump now comes up alongside them. Wadia Smiles might just about be in the lead. It's Rider right on the inside. Wadia Smiles on the outside. Side. Between the two of them is presenting present. They've got three more fences to take. Then after that one comes Bonjour Swindy Home. He's after that one as they get over the third last. And it's just now Wider Smiles who's taking it up. It's Wider Smiles from Rade and then Swindy Home. Bucko is now making a forward move. Special cargo trying to get back into it on the outside. But it's Wider Smiles who's gone on from Rade. Coming out towards the final three furlongs and the final two fences in on the final race on day two of the Cheltenham Festival. And it's Wider Smiles in the lead from Rade a second. Swindy home third, then Georgia O'Keefe and presented present special cargo and Bucco, bonjour and reality check, they're coming out towards this second last in there, and Wider Smiles gets over in the lead, Swindy Home is now a big challenger in second, special cargo's trying to run on the outside in third, just one more fence to take, and it's Wider Smiles and Wider Smiles gets over in the lead from Swindy Home second, special cargo is trying to run on in third, but it's still Wider Smiles in front, Wider Smiles in front from Swindy Home and special cargo, bonjour trying to run on into the final half, third on they go, and it's Wider Smiles who's still a length clear on Wider Smiles is going to take it for Aaron Thompson at the line Wider Smiles wins it Swindy Home in second man special cargo third then Bonjour and Georgia O'Keefe um, Bucco and all the way back to presenting present I think ended up last but it's Wider Smiles for Darren Thompson who had a winner yesterday and he closes today with one as well and there it is, Wider Smiles for Darren Thompson, the winner. Swindy Home for James Shea, second. Special Cargo for David Robertson was third. Bonjour for Paul Rhodes, fourth. And he took fifth as well with Georgia O'Keefe. And that's the end of day two, which will go down as Tamasebi Day, won't it? But it's day two's over, and we'll be back tomorrow for the Cheltenham Gold Cup. And quite a few other thrilling races to go with it.